Good evening, good afternoon, and good morning. I am Froze Mellon, and today we'll be continuing on with our Rogue Arena run. So, first of all, you will probably notice that, yes, I have a loss with this deck. Unfortunately, I played a game which I managed to sort of start recording for about 22 seconds, and then my hard drive space ran out. So, at which point, yeah, I wasn't able to record the full clip of that anyway. So, a bit disappointing, but... Or I'll say, we kind of lost the game. It was a bit unlucky that we lost them, but we did. But it was just one of those games where you end up getting out by value anyway. So, with that being said, let's jump into the next game. Maiev versus Jane. Okay. Mage. None can escape my fury. Yeah, we tossed this entire hand with Mage. Because I need to get early game so they don't start whittling me down with minions, then burst me down with spells. It's not a great hand, but it's a good enough hand. It's playable. The coerce is not really what I want to see in my opening hand, but I'll make do. And we've got a 2 3 4, so at least we're going to curve out. Yeah, unfortunately, with the fact that I was kind of like bulk uploading videos, at least recording them from the weekend prior, and you just kind of having them exist on my hard drive, I unfortunately. Did not <laughs> expect any point that I'd end up running out of hard drive space, so that's kind of my own fault on there. So I had to kind of make up uh, some solid. extra space, and hopefully that fixes the problem. Uh, we'll just play this and push face her. Oh, so point me trading into that minion to lose my minion. But yeah, it kind of incentivizes that if I want to continue with some of the recording, I need to either upgrade my kit I have or, you know, look into uh, maybe having at least a hard drive. More than likely, we'll, we will get this wrong at some point. Because I don't think this is... um very good when it comes to actually guessing what cards opponents have in your hand, but they're two for two. Can they get three for three? So I got some random cards in here. Yep, there we go. Amazing. Amazing. I wish it would have saw you could see where they got it wrong. But that is actually pretty good. It does give this taunt, which I don't want it to. But it would mean I could trade into that and that and then still push a bit of damage face if I wanted to. Hmm. Or just trade into that and push face. And if they try and be greedy on it, I can kind of punish them. Can I punish them for it? Not really. Both those got to trade into that anyway if they want to do anything. Uh, freezing, I don't have outcast cards. Freezing Jack could be good. And it's a secret, and I do have secret synergy. The bowler shot, I don't think it's going to go off in this game that much, so. Let's get that chip damage in while we can. We are the aggro deck in this matchup. Between that, I got a good turn 5 play as well with like the freezing trap, followed by coerce if I need to do that, so. That is a huge loss of tempo for them to do that. Where you followed? Like, I mean, that's a massive amount of a loss there. And I really should punish them for it as well. Justice is mine. At least make sure spells can't do anything here, so they can't have like direct spells to attack these now, which is great. This is what I love about this, it forces them to have minions, and I actually have some minion control, so I'm doing A-OK. -okay. One more death on this and I get to do the infuse, which at this point could get anything from the plagiarize to the assassinate. 
so we've got to watch out for that. I want to play it when I've got the opportunity to kill a minion, or I could basically benefit from the plagiarize a lot more, which is going to be coming up soon anyway. You've got me fired up. Now we're cooking. Okay. So at this point. Um, the. Okay, we trade in this first. Okay, fine. Hit face to that, so we take less damage. If it is. Push face. Okay. That's kind of annoying. What a delightful party. Um, five and two is the best way to go here. Coercing that does nothing. I could put a freezing trap up and just play my five drop, so that is fine. That's what we'll do. But sending this back to hand is kind of a good idea here. Because they can't play it and it's going to be way too big of a drop now for them to sit there and play anything else. Please give me the assassinate. Ah, uh, it failed. Uh, it's fine. Play this, play this, push that. Oh, my friend, you have no idea. Because you can't play the 8 mana card. Because <laughs> that's pretty much just asking to lose. And I can kill them with that as well if they play it and try and trade, so... You would have to get a taunt off or something like that. That worked out really well. <laughs> oh, that's kind of good, especially after the loss we had in the last game, which unfortunately no one's ever going to see. It's, uh, yeah, it's just uh, not enough memory, which is kind of a silly way to not be able to record something. But as this is the 1st of September, I did get a pack from the Climbing the Ladder. Admittedly, I'm probably going to kind of climb back up to Silver to begin with, if you see the Ladder Climb series, and just get back to a point where I was before, so the fact that, you know, we can continue climbing from there. But anyway, if you do enjoy the video, do leave a like, subscribe to see more, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.